Hi, my name is Mike Clark and I'm with Trotec Laser. Today we're going to address an issue that a lot of people seem to have and that's laser engraving plastic. One of the things you need to understand about laserable plastic is that unlike normal rotary engraving plastic, which is an ABS core, laserable plastic is an acrylic core. As most of us know, the secret to engraving clear acrylic is making sure the acrylic goes white. The whiteness is caused when the laser burns the acrylic and creates a powdery dust. This powdery dust gives us the white background, which gives us a nice contrast between the clear and the white. Same thing happens with, with laserable plastic. However, the problem that we have when we get the white dust depositing on the black is that it causes the black to tend to look more like gray. For a lot of people that are used to the rotary engraving where we had nice shiny black, this can be a real problem. It typically is a problem for anybody. We can solve this with a laser machine and it's quite easy to do. As you can see from my chart here, I actually have nine squares that I've lasered. The first one is in focus and it's fairly grayish white. As I start to go more out of focus, my image starts to get blacker and blacker to the point where my, 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 black, my square is, is ultimately shiny black. Typically for engraving, this is what we want to happen. If you go too far out of focus, then it actually starts to create an issue where you don't engrave properly. So the idea is to try to find a proper out of focus setting that sort of works for your machine that you're working with. In the case of my machines, the Trotec machines, typically we're about 90 thou out of focus. That's 0 0.090. You can go either up or down, it doesn't really matter. Typically I like to go down a little bit uh, in terms of a positive number. Uh, just so that I don't have any accident, any issues with crashing the head or anything like that. The other secret to engraving the laserable plastic or any material for that matter is getting the proper power and speed. The biggest problem that you have is if you use too much power then all you're going to do is generate a lot more dust and you'll have more issues with the dust contaminating the background on the plastic. So therefore we want to use the least amount of power we can get away with and we want to be 90, in this case, 90 out of focus. Being out of focus causes the material to melt uh, and we don't get as much white dust and therefore our background is more of a solid black than it is a light gray background. In terms of engraving this material, I used a Speedy 360 80 watt machine. My power and speed were, my power was, uh, was 65 power and my speed was 100. My resolution was 500 dpi and I was 90 thou out of focus. That's 0 0.090, in this case, a positive number, not a negative number. Could be negative, but I went positive. The beauty with the Trotec laser is I can actually program that 0 0.090 right into the print driver and I can have the Z-axis move automatically. This is a good option to have on the physical machine because it allows me to go out of focus for the raster engraving and then I can come back into focus when I want a vector cut. So as you can see from my red on white plastic, which for anybody that's engraved laserable plastic, they know this is the worst material, I get perfect results. I've got a lot of coverage here, over probably and probably over 70% of coverage, and you can see that I've got very minimal, actually in this case, no contamination of the white at all. This is very important, and I didn't have to do a lot of cleanup because I used the out of focus method and I used the Mester Clean Magic Eraser to clean out the rest of the residue that was left over. You'll also notice on the, on the video when I'm actually vector cutting is I'm not actually going through the, all the way through the material. I'm going to go through probably about maybe seven eighths of the material. The last eighth I'll leave there and I can just break the, the pieces apart. This allows me to take the whole piece of plastic out, clean it, and then I can just snap it apart. Thanks for watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.